everybody. My name is Julie Kinnaman and I'm the club director for Pursuit Volleyball. Uh, we wanted to share this YouTube video uh, with you guys tonight. Uh, we have something a little bit unique. We have some inclement weather coming through our area and we decided for my team that we're going to have um, a practice session virtual. We're going to go through Google Meet um, and go through some blocking footwork and some, some team um, journal types of situation. But prior to that practice, I'm going to ask my athletes to go through a little bit of a workout. So I'm going to share that workout with you now. I'm going to demonstrate here in my living room. Uh, we have, I have two papers here. This is the little workout. And then we, on my green um, page here, this is called our Prep Athletics Early Bird Warm-Up. We're very blessed to partner with Prep Athletics out of Cape Girardeau. And they create three different warm-ups for our entire Percy um, family, all of our teams. So we have uh, Early Bird. Uh, practice warm up. We always ask our athletes to come early, and this is the warm up that they go through before every practice. Warms them up head to toe, all their joints, gets them rolling, and it only takes about five minutes if they do it correctly and do it nice and slow and controlled. Um, we also have, they also gave us a game day warm up, and then we have a 30 second warm up as well that we implemented in our pursuit program this season. And we just really think it's great to prepare our athletes, if not, you know, not only physically, but just mentally creating that routine. Um, after I go through the warm-up, I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna show and demonstrate a quick little stability circuit. Um, just kind of working on some of our like uh, ACL support muscles and trying to make sure that we're working on some of those injury prevention things. Um, and then we're gonna work on, work through a little hip flexor circuit. And then I have a little ball workout that they'll, they'll be able to do with their teammate via FaceTime. So all you need tonight is a volleyball. Uh, we do have bands that we give to all of our athletes. And then I have a water bottle because one of my exercises uh, requires a water bottle tap. But we're excited for this. I know that so many times when we run our traditional practices, we always do early birds, we always do extra things. Um, but if we get an opportunity to really focus on the core, or the hip flexors, or shoulder stability and knee stability, we want to make those positive reps. And you know what? These athletes are going to be able to use some of these skills and some of these um, exercises on their own. They could easily create a routine before they go to school um, and just get that continued work in our hips and, and our shoulders and our knees um, and just continue to be a better athlete in the world. rotation one of the rotations it goes from ankles to knees to hips to shoulders it's going to be a five rotation five to the right five to the left so if I get my balance and I do my ankle rotation I'm going to do ankle circles five one way five the other way then you go into knees okay and you go into like a circular motion in your knees five one way five the other way okay and then we go hips. Hips is my, are my team's favorite. It really stretches it out. So we want to make nice big circles with our hips. Five one way and turn around and five the other way. And then we have five shoulders. So we're going to go just medium sized circles. Five forward, five backwards. I know I'm not counting to five, but I don't want to go through the whole thing. Next is going to be hip abduction. Just a little bit of hip flexion, a little balance, a little bit of posture. My foot is going to stay the same as I come up, and when I come up, I'm gonna keep my balance, and I'm gonna make sure that I come down in a controlled state as well. I don't wanna go up and then just flop back down, because when I go back down, it's also part of the exercise. So you have five on one, or is it five? 10 on one side, 10 on the other side, okay? So I'm gonna go here, nice and slow and controlled. I don't have to go out real far, and then I go 10, then I go 10 on the other, the other leg. Okay? We have a bouncy shuffle that we do at our warm up, um, and they kind of do the length of the volleyball court and back, down and back twice. We're going to do this standing in place since my athlete's going to be in their bedrooms tonight for a little workout. Um, so it's just going to be 10. We're just going to be nice, big, and explosive. So we're going to go big here, 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 here. 10 nice, big ones, just getting them warmed up. Next is called pogos. I'm going to do this side view so you guys can see. Um, but our, it's kind of like ankle bounces. I kind of keep my knees kind of straight, um, but it really works that um, Achilles and, and that bounce. So 10, 10 good pogos. Next is shoulder abduction, where we're going to have the athletes grab their bands. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do it like a lateral. I'm going to do thumb up, create a little bit of resistance in that band. And when I go up, 
I'm only going to go to about 90 when I come back in that controlled state as well. Make sure that we're utilizing going up this part of the workout and down just nice and slow, working on that rotator strength. Five on the right, or sorry, 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Next is called eyes to shoulder, just a scapula squeeze. I'm going to create some resistance. I'm going to go here and squeeze, and here and squeeze and hold. Okay, I'm going to get 10 good ones there. Okay. Next up is torso arrows. These feel really good. They really stretch that hip and uh, that core. I'm going to come sideways here. I'm only going to do it one way, but it's going to be knees and, and uh, hands kind of in a four point stance. I'm going to create a little arrow with my hand and I'm going to reach under as far as I can, nice and slow. And I come up and I reach the ceiling nice and high. That part feels really good stretching. And I come under and I come up. Okay, I'm going to do five one that way and I'm going to do five this way. The next is um, hip to downward dog. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and have them stretch here. It'll be 10. Good, pull up that chin, relax nice and slow. Okay, and then we're gonna go into back down, nice and slow, reach up. My chin is up at this point, and then when I come back up here, I'm gonna tuck my head in as far as I can, and then do 10 of those, okay? The next one is explosive burpee. They're going to do three of these. So you're going to be in um, on your stomach like this. And instead of the burpee where you make it like a two or three count move, you boom up. We're going to try to make it one big explosive move and come up. I have a ceiling fan in here, so I'm going to try to avoid that. But you'll see that if I go here, I go up, I want to make sure that I just make all one movement. So when I push with my hands, I'm going to go ahead and push up with my legs too. So. Up, yes. One more here. Up, okay. That was two. Athletes will be three. And then finally, we'll finish with arm rotations. We're gonna go bigger on these. Five forward, and then five back, okay? So that is the early bird warm up, okay? We'll let our athletes go. go ahead and cover the stability circuit. So with this circuit here, it's going to be these exercises and then we're going to have them go through twice. So I'll kind of walk through each one. The first one is ACL jumps. We're going to ask our athletes to do 10 on the right foot, 10 on the left foot. I kind of talk about these to be, I kind of consider them to be one-legged burpees. And then we're going to allow ourselves to catch our balance and get balanced before I move back into the second rep or the third rep. So that stability in our knee is what we're looking for. Sometimes you might be a little bit more wobbly in one knee, a little stronger in the other knee, um, but we want to kind of um, train those little muscles around our kneecap and, and around our ACL just to be stronger. So the wiggles are okay. I just want to make sure that I complete all the wiggles and find my balance before I go into number two so that I'm under controlled state. So it'll be opposite hand, opposite knee, okay? And I'm gonna go down like a little burpee, and then up, let it wiggle, get my balance, and go again, balance. You gotta do a little jump, jump, balance, okay? You'll do 10 on the one leg, and then 10 on the other leg, okay? The next is a single leg touchdown. It's gonna be right leg, left leg. This is where my water bottle is gonna come into play. Okay, so I'm gonna be here, and as I go down, I'm gonna let this knee tip back. I'm gonna hit the, come a little farther, let hit the chair. Let that knee come back, okay? Touch, hit it back. So this leg's swinging back straight, then I bend with that knee, trying to keep my toe and my knee straight, pointing to my water bottle. So actually I'm gonna to touch my left hand. My right knee is the knee that's bending. My left leg is shooting back. My left knee is touching. It's great for my balance. And my 
some stability. I'm gonna try to keep my shoulders up so it's more like a one-legged squat. Okay, 10 one leg, 10 the other leg. Next we have speed skater, so I'm gonna put my water bottle up. I'm gonna make those lateral movements. Instead of it being like boom, 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 all fast reps, I'm gonna get my balance, and then I'm like a big explosive rep, get my balance, make it a good big explosive rep, back and forth. We're gonna have our athletes do 20 of these. So we're gonna get loaded with one leg, okay? And I kick, jump, hold, kick, jump, hold, as big as I can. Balance, hold, 20 reps, okay? Then we're gonna grab our volleyball. We're gonna do a single leg pass. So if I'm gonna balance on my one knee here, I'm gonna have this leg kick out. I'm gonna work my forearm passing. And I'll have this one leg, let's see, this leg, this leg kick out. I'll work on my forearm passing, okay? I'm gonna ask them to get 10 good reps. Okay, so let's see, left leg here. Okay, here we get 10. Then they would go the other way. This knee, this leg. Here we get 10, okay? Now that's the entire stability circuit. Flip back to the top and repeat. through this hip flexor circuit. Um, I'll go through the exercises um, and then the circle will be done twice. So we'll go through and then you'll do it again, okay? The first one is inchworms times 10. Great for our hamstrings, great for our flexibility, okay? So we're gonna go down and I wanna try to inch out with as many little baby walks as I can. Walk, 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 walk all the way out, okay? Hold and my little walks. Perch back up on my fingertips. Walk, 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 All the way up, okay? Repeat, times 10. The next thing we're gonna have is called a straight leg raise plus a pulse times five. So we're gonna do a straight leg raise for 30 seconds, okay? And then we'll pulse five reps, and then we'll switch legs. So when I do a straight leg raise, if I'm gonna do my left leg here, and I'm laying down, I'm gonna have this leg flat here, okay? I'm flat on my back, hands down, and I'm gonna raise up. I'm gonna hold that for 30 seconds, okay? Really activate that hip flexor, that strength. After 30 seconds, I know that's not 30 seconds yet, I'm gonna pulse, four, five. There we go. I'm gonna switch here. And I do it the other way. Hold for 30 seconds. Okay, if my toe is going straight. After 30 seconds, I know that's not 30 seconds, but one, two, three, four, five. And switch. Okay. We're gonna have 10 on the right leg, 10 on the left leg. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our athletes' bands. I'm gonna pinch those two hands together. I'm gonna create a little loop here. A loop, and I'm gonna stick those ends. The loop. We're going to do a glute bridge. Okay. And I'm going to take this band and put it around my legs here. I can kind of spread it out a little bit as well. And I'm going to lay down. And I'm going to do a five second hold. And then I'm going to do it ten times. So I'm here. I'm going to come up. Now let's really squeeze my glutes, okay? Hold and back down. Okay. Feet flat, feet firmly pressed in the ground. Hold, times five, and back down. I'm gonna do that 10 times total. And then last, we're gonna work with a monster walk. I'm gonna have our athletes put this more like calves or ankles, okay? And then since they're in close quarters in their own bedroom. I'm just gonna have them do three walks and three walks back, okay? So find a space where you can do three 
when we do monster walks, we're gonna have them have their wide stance, feet have to stay straight, knees down here. And then as I walk, I wanna make sure that I pull out and then the next foot replaces and then I keep that distance between my two feet here. And then I go out and I go here. I don't wanna go out and then up together. So I'm here and then I'm gonna do that, okay? Um, let's see, times two. So three, 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 and then three. So I'm here and get myself in volleyball posture. So we are volleyball players, elbows are in, I'm in that passing posture. My hips are engaged, my shoulders are down. So I'm gonna step out, step here, step out, step here. This should be nice and slow. Now that was three, now I'm gonna head this way. One, two, you'll notice my feet never come together. Three, then I would go down again and back again. And that would be complete, okay? That's the finish of the hip flexor circuit but then you would go through that twice. So inchworms, straight leg raise with five pulses. Okay, do that 10 times each. Glute bridge with five second hold, 10 times each. And then monster walks, three, 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 and three. And then that's that hip flexor circuit. Now we're gonna go through some ball work. So all of this stuff is close quarters ball work that you can do like in your bedroom, in your living room. Um, and it just works on lots of maximum touches, lots of ball control, lots of hand work, um, and then just some challenges. The last activity is pretty challenging. I know that I'm gonna um, definitely be challenged just explaining the, the last activity. But it just should be pretty quick. Um, I'm gonna have our kids do it for 30 seconds and then switch hands or switch um, exercises. So 30 seconds and move on to the next one, 30 seconds, move on to the next one. So maybe they can have a timer set up or maybe they can just do 30 reps. Um, they can get a feel for what that needs to be. So for the first one is we're gonna do an open fist here with my hand rotated around here and I'm gonna go dominant hand. So for 30 seconds, really work that eye sequence and hold. After 30 seconds, switch hands, other hand non-dominant hand, working that eyes where I'm watching that ball be contacted. Next one is a one-arm platform. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit it actually off this part of my arm. Eye sequence, seeing the bottom of the ball hit my arm. 30 seconds there, 30 seconds, non-dominant hand, okay? Then we're gonna do open hand spins. We're kind of working that top spin contact, but I'm kind of doing it under motion. Um, so we're gonna go 30 seconds with my dominant hand, okay? And then 30 seconds with my non-dominant hand. Uh, and then next is alternating right hand, left hand with the, I just call them kind of spins. So we spin and work that hand contact. This is fun, you know? I can do this without creating too much motion in my ball and keeping it all pretty under control. Okay, now we're gonna do above head ball spins. It's kinda like I toss here and then I start to spin the ball and try to keep it, keep it going. I can go from up here. Here it is. Ball spins. 30 seconds trying to spin. Here it is, here it is. Okay, keeping those ball spins. Try to be under control, I mess up, just kind of restart and stay in my little area, stay in my little bubble. Okay, standing sets, 30 seconds. I'm gonna stand at the ceiling fan right above me. Work my footwork. Right hand, 30 seconds. Left hand, 30 seconds. Just working those touches, trying to get all five finger pads on the ball. And then the next one is Right, left, set, right, left, set, right, left, set. Try to do this. Right, left, set, right, left, set, right, left, set, right, left, set. Right. Our setters are gonna be able to do this pretty quick. Right, left, set, right, left, set. Do it for 30 seconds, really maximize those contacts with those setter hands, okay? Now we're gonna do that same series, seated. So it's set to self, right? Right hand set, left hand set, and then right, left set, right, left set, right, left set, 
maximizing those contacts. Right, rest that, okay? Then we're gonna repeat it one more time using our core. So I'm gonna kinda of reach back here and be in my core. So, right here, sets. Right hand sets, left hand sets, right? Right, left, set, right, left, set. Activating my core through those sets, okay? Um, the next one is, we're gonna kinda of lay, lay down and set. Set, 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 we're gonna get into a sit up position. And then all while we're setting, keeping that ball under control, we're gonna stand up, and then we're gonna lay back down, and sit back down, and lay back down, and go, okay? So bear with me, I'm not a setter, but it is fun to try it. So I see, lay and set. I'm gonna work my way into sitting. I'm gonna work my way to standing all the way back up. And I work my way back to sitting, and then back to laying down, and go. For this one, we're gonna have you guys do times 10, up and down. Okay. The next one are called spider sets. Um, our setters really enjoy these. It's where we're gonna kinda of set between our legs and crisscross and alternate our legs. Okay. So I'll do it without setting, just catching first. So I'm gonna go here, I'll kinda of get it going. Then I'll make a set here, then you switch. You make a set here, then you switch. You make a set here. And if you need to, kind of start off with a little catch and throw, and as you get the hang of it, you can go spider set, spider set, spider set, okay? So do that for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then we're gonna add the sit up and stand, and lay back down. So when you're in that lay down position, we're gonna have you go through spider set, spider set, spider set, times four, then sit up, stand, get back down. So it'll be, Starting here, get yourself at least four spider sets. <laughs> four, okay? And then work your way up to standing and then laying back down, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me with this little workout. It's great for hand touches. It's great for team bonding when we do uh, FaceTime each other and partner up. I think it's just really neat to be able to add some extra volleyball movements and some core movements with my hip flexors and my stability. And just getting lots of ball touches, even when we're not able to be face-to-face -face with our athletes. These give our athletes the tools to be able to add, add different exercises into their workouts and just continue to better their game and better themselves as a volleyball player becoming more and more well-rounded, okay? Thank you for joining us. Go Pursuit.